Hey everybody, it's Tammy here. Um, I just wanted to tell you a story about uh, Morocco because I've been doing a bit of work on uh, my Morocco trip this week, uh, which we've got some exciting new news about that. So you can pop over to the events page on Facebook and watch that video if you're interested in that. But last year I was trialing some new tour guides in Marrakesh. Now different countries have different laws about how guides are licensed, so it's a bit complicated. Anyway, a good tour guide is critical to the success of your trip, everybody knows that. I usually go for younger people who have a lot of energy and um, are progressive because sometimes we're visiting conservative countries so I never want anyone to feel uncomfortable or offended on any of my trips so I had not been successful in finding someone I'd totally warm to in Marrakesh although in other cities it was okay so anyway I had these guys lined up men and um, I was getting them to two or three of them to take me to the same places because I wanted to hear their spiel and just to be able to compare them Anyway, it's cold, it's January, so there's snow on the Atlas Mountains. So this guy shows up and he's wearing pleather, fake leather, black pants and a matching jacket and a white shirt. And so anyway, off we go. And he's kind of distracted. It's only me, so it's a little bit odd, just the two of us. Hard to keep up conversation all the time. So anyway, he's... Um, he keeps leaving me to go and have these secretive phone conversations regularly. And um, so we're somewhere at, at, the, at the palace and so, you know, I'll just go and have a wander and then I'll come back and he's still on the phone and, um, and I can hear him saying, um, kill him, kill him, like this all the time on the phone. And I was like, oh my God, and I'm looking at him and he's got, he looks like a gangster. He's got these little pleather pants and a pleather jacket on and he's on the phone, kill him, like this. And after about the third time it happened, I said to him, oh, look, do you need to be somewhere else? Are you, are you busy? And he said, um, oh, it's okay. I just, I have a job on later this afternoon. And I was thinking, oh my goodness, you know, he's a hit man. He, what should I do? Should I contact the local police in Marrakesh? I don't know what I should do about this guy. He's because he was a bit, a little bit intimidating, and he had the collar up on his on his jacket. Anyway, and he's talking about killing him all the time. So, um, oh. Our tour finished and I went back to the Riyadh and I was getting collected by my uh, staff from the Sahara, the Berbers. And so anyway, they arrive and, and I'm telling them, there's this guy and he's really dodgy. I think he's a gangster. He's a hitman or something. He, he's a, one, a tour guide. And I kept hearing him say, you know, on the phone to people, kill him, kill him like this. And um, they were looking and they were like, kill him. And then they, they started laughing and they said, oh, kill him, like carpet. He wants to sell you a carpet, Tammy. And then I was like, ah, oh, he did take me to two carpet shops um, <laughs> directly after this. So perhaps that is what he was arranging. But anyway, I want you to know that I do go to the nth degree to make sure that we don't have any hitmen, hitmen guiding us on our tour. And also, I do try to protect you from carpet sellers as well. Anyway, there's always interesting things that happen on our travels. And I hope you can join me and we can take an adventure together. All right, have a great day.